What's up guys, Matt back again, and this is the Solid Edge Works Ginyu Force series of figures, and in today's video we're going to be unboxing and reviewing all of them. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. <laughs> Solid Edge Works has been periodically releasing each member of the Ginyu Force in a special fighting pose this year. Ginyu and Jace came in April, followed by Raccoon and Birder in May, and finally Goldo with a special base to connect everyone in June. Solid Edge Works has never done something like this, so I feel like it's been a very fun and creative way to collect the series. I also know that Varuk had a hand in sculpting these with Joe, so I know their sculpts will be top notch. I've also done individual reviews for a couple of these in the past, and felt I may have been a bit too hard on them, so hopefully this is a bit of a redemption for them. These figures are all based on the Toriyama illustration of the Ginyu Force doing an awesome fighting pose together. Each individual figure has a perfect likeness. For smaller crane figures, they still have wonderful and detailed faces that look very accurate to the source that they're based on. Each sculpt is really well done. They don't have any high detail textures or anything, but everything from the poses, armor, hair, veins, muscles, and clothes are done very well. Each figure comes with their own individual base to stand on and unfortunately don't have the ability to stand on their own. It would have been nice if each one had a regular support and then the big base to have them all together. But I think since the individual bases are clear and small, it's not a big deal. I'm not the biggest fan of the color and quality of their big base and hope that it would match the style of the Ginyu Force emblem that came with Goldo instead. None of these have shading applied, but at the very least have very bright colors on each one that are very accurate to the source. The size of each of these figures is pretty disappointing. They're all incredibly small, probably the smallest Solid Edge Works figures ever released. I suppose the reasoning behind that is so that they wouldn't take up too much space when joining together, but it's still a little strange to have them so small compared to other figures in this series. This entire set really only works if you're getting these all together. Individually, these figures don't amount to much, but when you gather the Ginyu Force together, it really hits hard and is probably the best Solid Edge Works release that you can own. <laughs> But those are my thoughts, guys. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you made it this far in the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to go even further beyond in supporting the channel, then consider becoming a YouTube member starting at $3. That gives you permanent access to our Discord community full of awesome collectors just like you. And if you want to take part in our regular monthly giveaway, our $10, $15, and $20 members can win two Crane figures, an Ichiban Kuji figure, or an entire Ichiban Kuji set respectively. And if you want to buy any of the figures from today's video, I have affiliate links down in the description below. It doesn't cost you any extra to buy these figures through those links, and it helps support me. Uh, but I think that's all I got for you guys today. So until the next video, I will see you all later. <laughs> Fighting, Miracle Bomb, Bade, Casu,
en mí 